Alright everybody, welcome back. We are going to do a pod review today on a pepper here that I gotta start getting ready to break down and bring inside. And so we're getting close to that time of the year and it's getting quite cold out. So here's one here, but this one looks like it may have gotten a little BER and that might be because I overwatered it like a fool. But I got plenty more over there. It's just not many of them are ripe. Just I think I got one over there that's ripe. So getting back there with all these plants here are not going to be an easy thing. But we'll pop that one off. There we go. That's a good one. And uh, what is this anyway? This is the... Your, uh, what is this one? This is PI439410. Zero, I believe. That would be this one right here. That's the only name it goes by. So I don't know anything else about it. Other than I do believe that it is a Bacatum and not an Anum or a Chansey. It is, I do believe this is a Bacatum. You can kind of tell because of that lovely stem. So I do believe it's a Bacatum. All right, so... Let's give you a better look at this in the light. And we'll turn you around and give that bad boy a go. Now, the Cadams in general are not normally as hot as Chansey's or even Anum's. So they're more of a warm glowing burn, so I'm not too worried about getting fried early in the morning and getting a gut cramp. I'm trying to get you... It's hard for me to see on the camera to tell what is actually good or not. My camera, the the screen that you watch, there's it. They put a coating on it. I guess it's an anti glare coating. When that coating comes off, because you keep having to clean the screen, maybe because uh, stuff is getting on it, and then you have to clean the screen. Well, like eventually that coating disappears from the from that viewing screen. And when that when that stuff disappears, you can't see the screen at all. It's almost virtually impossible. So that's why I'm having a hard time trying to give you good lighting. I'm assuming this is good. And usually it looks like when I'm in, in the editor, it usually looks like everything comes out good. But I just can't see it on my end. So it's... All right, so that's it. And um, let's uh, turn you around and give that a go. All right, welcome back, everybody. Here we are. We are doing another pod review today. I got to move in a better light here. And we're going to do a review on the PI 439410. I'm not 100% sure what that number is. I don't want to look it up again. But I will put the correct number and, and everything inside the title and description and everything. It's just I don't want to bend down there and have to dig that thing out again. But here it is. And I do believe it's a Bacatum. And I'm just identifying it based off of, you know, basically the fruit. I don't see any flowers left on that plant, but I'm, I can tell just by the type of fruit it is. It's probably a Bacatum. So there it is. That is it. You can see I got my, my winter cap on because uh, it's getting cold out, guys. Seriously. So that is it in a nutshell. So... Without any further ado, let's give it a go. Mmm. So far, very low heat. It is kind of a Bacatum flavor. Kind of strange because it seems like it's a mix between a Bacatum and an Anum. And go over the flavor straight, straight out the gate. Okay, so the flavor straight out the gate on this one had sort of a uh, apple type flavor. It tastes kind of like an apple, a little bit, mixed with, you know, the flavor of a pepper. So straight away, it tastes like that. And then it kind of had that bell pepperish type of flavor with undertones, actually, of a picatum. So it kind of tastes a little like both. It's just the sweetness of it and the flavor of the apple was very strong. It was actually stronger than the picatum flavor itself. Which should be your primary flavor, but the undertones are actually pretty prominent in this. <coughs> I'll take another bite. Really low in uh, Bacadam flavor. Definitely low in Bacadam flavor. But there is a little something there. It mostly tastes like 
again, I'm, I'm just generally classifying the main flavor of the pepper. I'm not saying it tastes like bell pepper. I'm saying the flavor has to fall into like a major category somewhere. And where are we going with it in, in, in the direction of flavor, especially for people who like to cook? This is kind of going into the direction of a uh, sweet bell pepper type flavor. Kind of going in that direction. But it has overtones and undertones uh, that are very unique to itself. It's not exactly bell pepper flavor, but it is falling into that line of flavor. Yes, it does have that apple type flavor. And yes, it does have a... Um, a very slight picadum flavor. As far as heat goes, let me try to see if I could get some more heat off of this thing. It's not really hot at all. Well, as far as the heat goes, it's relatively very, very low heat. Now, can I say that for every single pepper? Can the pepper heat range on these peppers? They could. It's definitely exhibiting a little tiny bit of heat. Very, very low. Probably lower than a pepperoncini. Very low pepper heat. I mean, pepperoncinis are considered to be some of the lowest heat peppers there are. This is kind of getting lower than that, but there is something there. I'm feeling a little bit on my lip here, very specific to it, right on that part of my lip, maybe because of the way I was biting it, touching the seeds. Just put the seeds on my lip, see if there's any capsaicin coming off the, uh, the seeds have most of the, the, I can feel it now. The seeds have most of the capsaicin on it, but again, it's really, really low. It's just a slight tingle on the tongue. Eating the whole flesh part of it was almost considered completely sweet. It's The heat is basically just on the seeds and maybe the placenta. Other than that, it's a very, very low, 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 low heat. If I was to give it a number, 25 on a Scoville, I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's only because I stuck my tongue directly on those seeds is where I'm really picking up a little tiny bit of heat. But it's so low, it's actually weird, like a weird kind of a... A buzzing feeling but it's a nice pepper i mean i don't really know anything about it i don't know if it has a name to it or i just know it as what you see it what is that pi 43 43 i think it is uh and that's it that's all i know it by but it's a nice little pepper and um uh what i'll do is uh whatever information i do get on the pepper itself if i can scrub the internet for it and find anything I'll just put whatever information I could find in the description below. I'll also put it on the website, but keep in mind, if I do any changes to the description, like I want to update the description, I usually just do it on the website. So if you're somebody watching this video a year from now, and you're looking at it, you're like, oh, well, that, there's not enough information. Always check the website to see if I updated that info, because that's where I'm going to make the changes. I don't always do it in the videos. All right, so double check over there. Also keep in mind... Um, that I will offer seeds to this variety, and I'm going to leave a link in the description below, which will take you over to the web page where you can actually buy the seeds. Now, also, a lot of people uh, comment and contact me saying, your link's not working, your link's not working. It takes time to build a web page, guys. I, I don't, like, build a web page in, in an hour and I'm done. It takes uh, several hours. i got to put together the videos. i got to put together images. i got to structure a page. i got to do coding. It takes time to build a web page. It doesn't happen in two seconds. So you got to give it sometimes a couple of days. And when I get time, I get in there and I build a web page. I'm trying to build the web pages before I do the video. It's just it's a little bit more difficult for me to do that. Um, it, it just requires a little more work ahead of time, knowing that's the video that's going to be released. And I got to set it up. And it's it's a pain in the neck. I usually do the video and then everything that's in there, I can just copy paste the description stuff and then build my web page off of that. But if I do it the other way around, for some reason, it's just a little bit more difficult. So I like to do it the other way. But keep in mind, if you're clicking the link and you're getting a 404 error, the reason why you're getting that is because I didn't build the page yet. So you got to give it uh, time. I build the link inside the uh, description of the video, that link. I build that first. Because that's how I'm going to build the link on the uh, the web page once it's done. But please keep in mind that uh, it takes some time for me to actually, um, you know, build the web page for it. All right. So really, guys, that's it. That was your pod review for the PI 439410 Pepper. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.